It's called From the House of the Dead, uh, as you know. It, of course, is describing human beings being kept in a very extreme circumstance as, as prisoners in the, in the Gulag in Siberia. But in many ways, this prison is a kind of metaphor for society as a whole, because actually um, the opera is mainly about the stories that these prisoners tell, how they came to be in this prison and why they were convicted and why they committed the crimes that they committed. So actually we learn a lot about life and conditions in the rest of society from the way it is reflected in the life stories of the people who are there. So you can see how we learn about things that happen elsewhere through the mouthpieces of these prisoners. We understand about the way society is and the violence in society and the oppression. I think it's interesting to um, look at the, the technique that Janacek used, um, which is really the technique of a kind of cinematic collage. The piece, in a way, is, is framed by the arrival of Goryanchikov, who is Dostoevsky, in fact, at the beginning of the piece and his release at the end of the piece. Um, this framing is mirrored by the eagle, of course, who is in a cage at the beginning of the piece and is released into the forest at the end of the piece. But in between that, um, the way Janacek works is uh, literally to, to piece together lots of different details and to assemble these not as a linear story, but as a collage, uh, as, a, as a kind of way of pasting little Im images together and achieving with those images a total picture. Uh, and that's, I think, a, a brilliant way of using music, actually a much more appropriate way of using music in many ways than a linear storytelling. So to me, he is by far the most significant opera composer of the 20th century.